In this video I'm going to show you how to do an I-cord bind off. When you're ready to bind off you're going to cast on some new stitches onto the left needle tip using a knitted cast on. My I-cord is going to have five stitches so I'm going to cast on five stitches onto the left needle. One, two, three, four, five. You could also use a backward loop cast on. Then I'm going to repeat the following steps. I'm going to knit four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then knit the next two stitches together through the back loops. That gives me five on the right needle, and I'm going to slip those purlwise back to the left needle, and then repeat knit four, one, two, three, four, and when I go to knit two together through the back loop, I should be closing that gap with the decrease. I'm attaching the I cord to the body of my work. Slip five back, one, two, three, four, five. At the beginning of the row, you can see my yarn is coming from the fifth stitch in. And again, I knit one, two, three, four, and knit two together through the back loop. Once you've done a bunch of rows of your I-cord bind off, you'll be able to see the I-cord laying against the edge of your work. If you find that it's a little bit tight, you can use a larger needle size in your right hand to work the I-cord and that will give it some more stretch. When you get down to the end, you'll have one stitch on the left needle and you'll want to slide your stitches back and do that last row so that you end up with the stitches remaining on your right needle. So I've knit four, knit two together through the back loop. Now I've got five stitches left. If I had done a four stitch I cord, I would have four stitches left, or a three stitch, I'd have three stitches left. For those last stitches, once you slide them back, you're going to do one more row of I cord, but in this time, instead of attaching it to anything, we're going to bind it off as we work the row. You get down to your one stitch. Oops. Let's grab that one again. Get down to your last stitch. You can cut the yarn. Pull the yarn through the last loop. Now we've got the two ends of our I cord, not looking so neat at the moment, but you can use one of your ends, or the end I guess at the end there, to uh, weave those together. 